The pick is in with the number 22 pick, the Philadelphia Eagles. Select offensive tackle Andre Dillard out of Washington State. Welcome back to Eagles Draft Central presented by Dietz and Watson. Fran, the Eagles traded up three spots from that number 25 pick to get their guy, Andre Dillard. Six foot five, <laughs> 315 pounds. And Amy, this is no exaggeration. The Eagles got the most athletic tackle in the NFL draft. And Not this guy bad. is an outstanding athlete. Great feet. Again, six foot five, 315 pounds. Comes from Washington State where they love to throw the football out of the Pacific Northwest. They love to drop back and throw it a bunch of times. So if you want to see a guy drop back and protect the quarterback, Andre Dillard is your guy in this class. He uses his hands very well. Like I said, he's got great feet. A lot to work with there from a physical standpoint. Really looks the part up close. This guy is a really, really impressive talent. And a guy who I'm guessing is going to have a chip on his shoulder coming out of high school. A two-star recruit. Yep. Only major offer was Washington State. He went on to be a three-year starter there. Played 39 starts and like you said the most athletic tackle in the entire draft it and in a league where tackle is a premium position and a draft year where we haven't seen a lot of them come off the board so the Eagles trade up to get their guy um, another fun fact that I thought was pretty interesting he weighed 240 pounds as a freshman coming into Washington State so put on a ton of weight you have to expect this guy to have an incredible work ethic as well yeah and you know what's interesting about that is that he moves like a guy who was an athlete growing up Right, He yeah. was not always like the biggest kid on the block. So when you have a kid that, that moves the way he does, and it's not just the athletic, it's not like, oh, he just looked good in shorts and a t-shirt. But when you go back and look at what he did in the senior ball down in Mobile, Alabama, against some of the best players in the country, he really stood out. Whether it was one-on-ones, team periods, he was outstanding over the course of a week of practice. I think when you look at Andre Dillard, the arrow is absolutely pointing up. And I mentioned that he's got some fine, he's really, really well done with his hands as well. So a lot to like here with this kid a senior three-year starter like you mentioned a, a lot to like here I'm really really excited about this selection there's been a lot of surprises in this draft a lot of guys that we weren't expecting to be available at this point no in doubt. time do you think that are you surprised he was available do you think the Eagles were possibly surprised he was available and that's what kind of motivated them to make that move and go get him I'm gonna tell you I there was a lot of buzz leading up to this weekend that you know they're gonna he's probably gonna go off the board in the top 12 15 picks like when Green Bay was on the clock at 12 I thought, you know what, this is probably going to be Andre Dillard. When the Packers traded up again, I said, this is going to be Andre Dillard. We were sitting right here. We're I said, this sitting is, in these seats, this is like probably locked be and Andre loaded, Dillard. you guys, like ready to go at any <laughs> point in time. I don't know if you realize what's going on behind the scenes here, but we're like, okay, this is it. Get, okay, Nope, just, okay, not yet. All right, back to, hey, as you were, everyone, well, as you were. <laughs> when the Packers trade up, I said, I looked at you and said, this is probably for Andre Dillard. And okay. so when the Eagles trade up, I said, you know what, this would be a great selection here. Add a guy that's got his physical tools to this offensive line room. I think it was a really, really good selection here by the Eagles coaching staff and front office staff to be able to bring in a guy like this and work with Jeff Stoutland, who has done a great job of, of, of helping to develop the offensive lineman already on this team. You look at Andre Dillard again, outstanding feet, uses his hands well. He can come in and really work behind the veteran tackles that are already here, and now Jeff Stoutland can work with him and mold him into a potential all-pro in the future. Yeah, I was just going to say, you almost took the words right out of my mouth. If I'm Andre Dillard, how excited I am to work with Coach Stoutland and to be on an offensive line that you said with such veteran star power, guys that you can learn behind, develop underneath, yep. especially at those positions that I always think of the offensive line as the most developmental position and the entire football field and you know you hear the old cliche the closer you are to the ball the longer it takes you That's to right. develop That's and right. so he's not going to have pressure to come in and start at left tackle as a rookie he's right. going to be able to take his time and gain confidence and build his game the way he needs to here in Philadelphia no question I think also when you we've talked so much about the passing game when you look at him in the, in the run game there's more to work with there than you would think. He does have the ability to move people in the run game a little bit. Now, isn't the Pac-12, you know, not necessarily all the best defense being played out right. west, but I think when you look at Andre Dillard, it's not just, oh, this guy's a pass protector and he's this not going to move people. This isn't Mike Leach offense. Yeah, they, they pass yes. the ball a lot, but on the occasions when they did run, he showed some potential there, the ability to move some people. So uh, they're talking about a player that, to me, I expected him, like you said earlier, to go a lot earlier than where than where he was selected. I expected him to go off the board in the top 15, 16 picks. So for him to be there at 22, the Eagles obviously really, really uh, coveted his skill set because they give up a couple of picks to move up three slots to take him. 
with a, tra a familiar trade partner here as well with the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, this it was Lamar Jackson last year for the Ravens, and now this is the Eagles gain with Andre Dillard. Friend, he was also somebody that, if you listen to the Journey to the Draft podcast all year, he yep. was a guy that you were talking about all year long. Yeah, he's a guy. Ben Fennell would, would join me every yeah. single week, and you know we would always talk about who are some of the top players in the country. And when you look at Andre Dillard, he was a guy that we talked about often because Ben saw him a couple times live. So we were able to talk with Ben each and every week and say, hey, what did Andre Dillard look like last week? And was so, so impressive just with his physical skill set. You could see there, the guy just moves so fluidly. He's taking a set from the right side yeah. here, but spent most of his time on the left. So you're talking about a guy, again, great feet, high character, three-year starter, a lot to look at, look forward to in terms of his upside. There's a lot to like there. When I watch film of offensive linemen, especially at the tackle position, I look at their chest, their shoulders, and then I always look at their ankles. And you love to see those tiny ankles, which is exactly <laughs> what we just saw right there in that clip. That's right. Carrying the weight, but having those tiny ankles. That's what you always want to see from those guys that are going to be protecting the quarterback on the outside. Friend, he's also someone that you were able to speak with in person, right? That's right. So I what was your vibe from him? What did you like about him? What can you tell us about what he does off the field in terms of the guy that the Eagles are getting. Workmanlike attitude. You know, he's a Love guy. I, I spoke with him down at the Senior Bowl. We'll put that interview up on PhiladelphiaEagles.com shortly. And I think when you look at Andre Dillard, this guy obviously is a guy uh, that has put in a lot of the work. You mentioned where he's come from from a physical standpoint. You don't grow the way that he has over the course of the last three or four years without having that kind of a work ethic. And he certainly brings that to the table. But, you know, when you talk about his athleticism, Amy, I think, you know, you mentioned what you're looking for when you watch offensive linemen. And one of the, the key things to see how good of, of guy's feet are in pass protection, don't necessarily look at the feet, look at his eyes and look at his, look at his head. If his helmet is rocking up and down like a bobblehead doll when he's dropping back in pass protection, you know he's a little bit uncomfortable. You know, it's almost like if you're driving, how hard is it to drive a car if your head's bouncing back and forth like that? He is very much under control, very, very smooth, and then also he's never on the ground. And that's not one of the things you look for for offensive linemen, that balance, that ability to stay up on your feet and find work. That's something when you have Andre Dillard, a guy that athletic, that really shows up time and time again.